Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and you are watching Growing Green. Welcome back to my channel everyone. If you are new here, hello, my name is Rachel. I run my own small houseplant business here in Auckland, New Zealand called Growing Green. My website is www.growinggreen.nz if you wanted to check that out. If you are a returning viewer, hello, welcome back. Thank you so much for coming back again for another video. Very proud to present this brand new product that I'm going to be launching on my website today, which is the 17th of September. And that is cover a pot so i am going to be hand making yes you read and heard that correctly hand making my very own cover pots so i'm going to be giving you a little bit of an explanation about them first the different color combinations that i'm going to be selling and obviously my plans for them for the future and then i'm going to jump into showing you how they are made so here we have my very first um launch my first product which are going to be these mini planters and these trays so i'm going to be selling them obviously as a set and as separates as well so you can just buy the tray or just buy the pots now i have a few different styles that will be available the first one is obviously this one here and this style is called terrazzo so it is obviously the white pots or the this one's kind of grayish put the white pots with the black chips in it i have the black terrazzo style which is the black with the white chips in it the white marble set and of course the black marble set so for a start they're handmade i hand make every single individual piece myself from scratch like from powder and liquid to this so that is really cool each individual piece is totally unique so no two pieces are ever going to be the same because of the handmade nature of these products um, when I pour them obviously they're always going to pour differently every single time so no pattern is ever going to be the same and not only is it the patterns that are never going to be the same it's also going to be the colors that are always going to be different so for example this terrazzo tray this one's kind of more of a grain and it's got heaps of chips in it and this one is more of a white color and this one has less chips in it you know what I mean so they're still the same style but they will be slightly different hence why I'll be selling some in sets and some individually so these products are also considered to be fairly eco-friendly and the reason they are eco-friendly is because there are no toxic fumes that are released when you make this product it is a type of eco resin so that means you don't have to have any kind of controlled environment so it's not harmful for your lungs and it's also not harmful for your skin if you get it on your skin unlike normal resin each set is also sealed at the end of them being made and the sealer what it does is it makes them water I wouldn't say waterproof it makes them watertight so that what if you want to put plants in it and water them it's totally fine as long as you let them dry out in between so I think that's all I have to say about this very oh the future of this product okay so my plans are in the future obviously these are smaller pots they are 7.5 centimeters high and they are six centimeters across so they're small pots so they're good for like newly planted cuttings and stuff like that I do however have a new mold that actually literally just arrived in the country yesterday and it is a larger pot mold it is 13 centimeters across I think and about 15 high so it's a much larger pot and I also have so many other ideas written down on pieces of paper of designs and colors and new products and all that kind of stuff are coming out very soon hopefully so yeah I think that is probably all I have to say about the product so far let's jump right into showing you how I make them Alrighty, so the first set I'm going to show you how I make is the terrazzo set. First of all though, what you have to do is you have to make the chips that actually go inside the product itself. So I have already measured out the liquid that I'll need and the powder that I will need. Now this sets very quickly, it sets in about 20 minutes, so you've got to work very fast. So I'm now just going to mix these together and then I will add some black pigment. Now it's on the table, I'm going to spread it out all over the glad wrap to make it nice and thin so we have fairly thin-ish chips. Okay, so now that it is all spread out on the table, we're going to wait for 25 to 30 minutes for it to fully set, and then we're gonna crumple it up, so I'll come back to you in half an hour. So it is now half an hour later, and as you can see, it is hard as a rock. So now I'm going to break it all up and make the terrazzo chips. And 
then same with the leftover in the container. If I just do that, it will all come off and become part of the terrazzo chips. So it's zero waste. As you can see, we now have our terrazzo chips. Now that the chips have been made, we are going to be casting the actual pot itself. So I'm going to be making a tray and a pot at the same time. Okay, now that it's nice and chunky, we can pour it into our molds. I'm tapping it out is to obviously settle the chips in nicely and get all the air bubbles out from the bottom. So there we have our two casted pieces. So again I'm going to be leaving them for half an hour until they set and then I'm going to be demolding them. So yeah I'll come back in another half an hour. All right it's now been a half an hour and it's time to demold these pieces. Ta-da! And there we have our terrazzo pot. Don't worry about these bits. These bits will just chip off like that. Just releasing the sides. Now we have both of our terrazzo pieces. Awesome, now I'm gonna show you how to make the marble effect. So I'm gonna put a couple of black drops in there to make the marble effect and then I'm gonna pour it straight into the tray. So just the tiniest bit of pigment. I'm gonna put it around two, three, four, and that's it. And then I'm gonna pour it into the tray. So now that the pieces are made, what we need to do is let them set completely for 24 hours. So I will let them dry and we will come back in 24 hours and I'll show you how I sand them. Good morning, it is now the next day and it is time to sand our pieces. So I have a bucket of water and yes I'm sitting outside, well mostly outside, because this gets very messy, it flicks everywhere. These marble ones here don't need much sanding, they kind of only need one light sand because they're already very smooth, but the terrazzo ones, are a completely different story. So let's quickly do these ones first. As you can see, the pattern isn't very prominent in the actual piece. So we're going to need a larger grit sandpaper to do a whole lot more sanding to bring out that texture and color. So watch the magic. Ta-da! So as you can see, it takes a lot more sanding to make these pieces look perfect, but the effect is totally worth it. So yeah, let's get sanding. Alrighty, so now all of our pieces have been sanded and they're ready to go and as you can see I'm covered in crap. So now I'm just going to let them all dry and then tomorrow, so that's in another 24 hours time, I will be sealing them. So yeah, I will see you in another 24 hours. Alright, it's now day three of the process and as you can see here, the pot has dried up quite nicely and now what I've got to do is seal it. So to seal it, all I do is get the sealer and spray it on and that's it. So 
it's now a few hours later and it has officially dried and we have our finished product. Looks so cool. It's all sealed and water resistant and it just looks so beautiful. So that's all for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed getting a look into how I make these products. Um, I have so much fun making these. For those of you who have stuck around long enough, I have a sneak peek for you. Let me go grab it. I do have another product in the works at the moment as we speak, and that is a normal sized pot. Well, normal sized. It's actually a pretty large pot. And as you can see, it also comes with the saucer. So yeah, that is coming out very shortly. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button down below. It lets me know what kind of content you guys like to see. Also, make sure to leave me a comment down below what your favorite color is, your favorite style is of these pots that I'm making. Make sure to also hit that subscribe button down below if you want to see more videos like this and leave any video suggestions down in the comments below. I'm always open to new ideas. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.